The fact is, we need prisons that are more like schools and schools that are less like prisons. But for this to happen, students really need freedom. Everybody is a genius, but when you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will spend its whole life believing that it's stupid. Yes, it is. We, with equal privilege, taking equal pleasure, invite Seher on the stage for a speech on school systems. Namadu wa nasalli ala wasulihi kareem amma baad. Fa'auzu billahi minash shaitani rajeem. Bismillahi rahmani rahim. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salam ala rasulullah. Rabbi shirahi sadri wa yasirli amri. Wa halu lugdatam min lisani yafkahu kawli. Rabbi zidni ilma. Rabbi zidni ilma. Rabbi zidni ilma nafiyah. Ameen. First and foremostly, all the spectators, listeners and onlookers, Assalamu alaikum to all of you. This is me, Sahar, a student of class 9 from Paul's Cambridge Alliance. And today I'm present here to represent a content that is the people versus the school system. So today we are going to take the modern schooling on trial, the school system. Albert Einstein once said, everybody is a genius. But if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it's stupid. Ladies and gentlemen, on all the audience present here, today we have Marondi schooling. Not only does it make fish climb trees, but also makes them climb down and do a 10 mil run. Now I want to pose a question to the schools. Tell me school, are you proud of things you have done turning millions of people into robots? Do you find that fun? Do you realize how many kids relate to that fish swimming upstream in the class, never finding their gifts, thinking they are stupid, believing they are useless? Well, the time has come, no more excuses. I call schools to stand and accuse them of killing creativity, individuality and being intellectually abusive. It's an ancient institution that has outlived his uses. And this concludes my opening statement. Exhibit. Here is a modern day phone, and here is a phone from 150 years ago. Big difference, right? Stay with me. Here's a car from today, and here's a car from 150 years ago. Big difference, right? Well, get this. Here is a classroom of today, and here is a class that we used 150 years ago. There is no difference in the class that we use and the class that we are using. No difference, the same method, the same way of teaching. Nothing has changed. Now, ain't there a shame? More than a century has passed. Nothing has changed. And school, yet schools claim to prepare students for the future. But what evidence like that, I must ask? Do you prepare students for the future or the past? Well, I did a background check on schools and let the record shows that schools were made to work, train people to work in factories, which explains why students put school, why students put their schools in straight rows, nice and neat, tell them sit still, raise your hand if you want to speak, and give them a short break to eat, and for eight hours a day, tell him what to think. Oh, and make them compete to get an A, a letter which determines product quality, hits grade A of meat. Ah, I get it back, then times were different, we all have passed. I myself am no Gandhi, but today we don't need to make robots or zombies. So, see, the world has progressed, as you all know, the world has progressed and now we need the people who think creatively, critically, innovatively, independently with the ability to connect. See, every scientist will tell you that no two brains are the same. And every parent with two or more children will confirm that claim. So please explain why you treat students like cookie cutter frames or snap back hats, giving them this one size fits all crap. I'm sorry, but if a doctor prescribed the exact same medicine to all of his patients, the results would be tragic. Everyone would get sick. Yet, when it comes to school, this is exactly what happens. This is called educational malpractice. We are one teacher stands in front of 20 kids, each one having different strains, different needs, different dreams, and you teach the same thing the same way? That is horrific. Ladies and gentlemen, the defendant should not be acquitted. This may be the worst criminal offenses ever to be committed.
And there's a good, great quote of a great writer. Let me read out it for you. कि मेरे हाथ में कलम है मेरे जहन में उजाला मुझे क्या दबा सकेगा कोई जुलमतों का पाला मुझे फिक्र अमन आलम तुझे अपनी जात का गम मैं तुलू हो रहा हूँ तू गुरूब होने वाला मैं तुलू हो रहा हूँ तू गुरूब होने वाला क्योंकि मैं अपनी अनुमान की तकरीर के अनुमान पहले ही पेश कर चुकी हूँ दैट इज एजुकेशन सिस्टम और आजकल के तालीमी इदारे आजकल के तालीमी इदारे तालीमी इदारे कम मुझे बिजनेस सेंटर ज्यादा नजर आते हैं माजी में हमारे उस और दर्जगाहों को एक आला मकाम हासिल था और पूरी दुनिया इनसे इस्तीफा करती थी क्यों क्योंकि इस गौर फिक्र में आजाद थे और दर्जगाह नसाब साजी में आजाद थी जी वकार लेकिन आजकल के तालीमी इदारे लकीर के फकीर बन गए हैं हुकूमती नसाब पर अमल पेरा होने के लिए मजबूर है हमारे तालीमी इदारे तलबा को तशाहबात व तजुर्बात के बजाय रटने और तकलीद करने का सबक देती है ये देख के एक इंसान दंग रह जाता है और इंसान की अकल हैरत में पड़ जाती है तो एक बात ने क्या खूब कहा है इश्क कातिल से भी मकतूल से हमदर्दी भी इश्क कातिल से भी मकतूल से हमदर्दी भी ये पता किस से मोहब्बत की जजा मांगेगा सजदा खालिक को भी इबली से यारा नबी सजदा खालिक को भी इबली से यारा नबी हश में किस से अकीदत का सलाम मांगेगा कहा जाता है कि इल्म ने खूने रगे जा दिया और न मरा इलम ने जहर का पैमाना पिया और न मरा इल्म सुखरात की आवाज है ईसा कलहू इल्म से ग्यारहू गहवाराऊ अंजाम नमू इल्म बेटे की नई कब्र पर माँ के आंसू इल्म अब्बास लमदार के जख्मी बाजू काबा कौसैन को यही सर करता है एक लम्हे में सदियों का सफर करता है सो कंटिन्यूइंग बाय द ग्रेट कोर्ट ऑफ द राइटर एमजेड रफी दैट इट्स इजी टू लैंड मैन ऑन द मून इट्स इजी टू लैंड मैन ऑन द मून देन टू चेंज द स्कूल सिस्टम एज आई वाज सेइंग क्रिएटिविटी इज एज इंपॉर्टेंट एज लिटरेसी बट पीपल डोंट वांट देयर चिल्ड्रन टू नो व्हाट दे रियली नीड टू नो I mean our schools work in a system without many options on the right curriculums are created by the policy makers most of which have never taught a day in their life just obsessed with standardized tests they think bubbling in a multiple choice question will determine success that is outlandish in fact these tests are too cute to be used and should be abandoned but don't take my words for it take Frederick Jekyll the man who invented standardized testing who said and I quote These tests are too cute to be used and should be abandoned. Ladies and gentlemen, if we continue down this road, the results will be lethal. And if we can customize our health care cards and Facebook pages, then it's our duty to do the same with the education, to upgrade and do away with the school spirit, because that's useless. Unless we are working, not working, we are working together to bring out the spirit out of each and every student, and that should be our task. No more common core. Instead, let's see the core of every heart in every class. Sure, math is important, but no more than art or dance. Let's give every gift an equal chance. I know it sounds like a dream, but countries like Finland are doing impressive things. They have shorter school days, teachers make a decent wage, homework is non-existent, and they focus on collaboration instead of competition. Other places like Singapore, succeeding rapidly schools like Montessori, programs like Khan Academy, but there is no single solution. But let's get moving. Because while students may be 20% of our population, they are 100% of our future. So let's attend their dreams. There is no telling where we can achieve. This is the world in which I believe, a world where fish are no longer forced to climb trees. I rest my case here. Thank you very much.